What's up guys? Thanks for watching. Today we're going to calculate your stimulus check and how much you might get based off of the $1,200 stimulus check proposal and the $5,000 stimulus check loan proposal. All right, first things first, please like the video if you like it. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Okay, so how to calculate your stimulus check and how much you'll get. Now this calculator will give you a few options. First you have to put in are you single? Are you married? Are you head of household? Now most of you will be single, a lot of you will be married, a small percentage of you will have head of household. That essentially means that you have dependents um, who may or may not be your children, although you're not married. So as a single individual, which is most of you, it also goes off of your income. Now adjusted gross income. If we scroll down here a little bit, it tells you what category you fit into. Now, if you're below $75,000 per year, you get the full $1,200 payment. Anything above that, you start to lose money. So every $5,000, it will incrementally go down. So once you hit $80,000, it goes down to $950. Once you hit $85,000, it goes down to $700. Once you hit $90,000, it goes down to $450, and so on and so on, until you get to $99,000 per year, which would give you $0 in this stimulus check. So let's plug in something for the average person. Let's say you're single. Your income is 50,000 per year. And you have zero children. You will get the $1,200 stimulus check, basically the, the base check. Now, if you have a child, you see here we're going to add the one. You see here it only added $500, which is from the previous CARES Act. You see right here it tells you CARES Act calculation. Now, with the current HEROES Act proposal, you will actually get an additional full $1,200 per child or dependent. So that means this number here would actually be $2,400 in the new one, and you would also get retroactive pay from the previous bill. That's as currently proposed by the Democrats. Now, if you're married... With no children, it's twenty-four hundred. Married with one child, twenty-nine hundred. Of course, it would be thirty-four hundred if you had the current Heroes Act passed as put. Now, what the heck is adjusted gross income? Like, is that just my income? No, this actually helps you in this case. So, your adjusted gross income is essentially your earned income minus any deductions you might get. Now, most people's deductions are student loan interest payments throughout the year and 401k's contributions. Now, if you put $10,000 into your 401k one year, those $10,000 are not taxed, which lowers your adjusted gross income by $10,000. Easiest way to figure out what your AGI is is to check your previous tax return, and it should be on there. Now, let's compare this to the $5,000 stimulus loan proposal. If you go here, it's going to tell you that most people will take the loan if they need it. However, you will pay interest on it, most likely, as currently proposed. And you will have to pay it back from your Social Security checks once they kick in during retirement. Now, there's, the only way we can do this is estimate how much you'll owe back based off of the interest rate and how many years you have until you retire when you pay it back. Now, in this assumption, they're going to assume a 4.53% interest rate which is the government rate for student loans currently. So that's a pretty good estimate. Now, if you're not going to retire for 10 more years, you would end up paying back almost $8,000 from that original $5,000 loan. In 20 years, you would pay $12,000. In 30 years, you would pay $18,000. That seems like a huge number. That is not good. In my opinion, it should be a 0% interest rate. However, there is a caveat, a good caveat for people that take this loan. It is capped at three payments to be kept from Social Security. So as currently proposed, even if you owe the, they can only keep three of your Social Security checks. So basically that leads you to believe you probably would pay back less. So currently the average Social Security check per month is $1,500. Multiply that by three. That's $4,500, meaning, okay, I owe $18,000, but it's capped at three payments, so I'm only actually going to pay $4,500.
Now, this doesn't include inflation. Over the course of 30 years, I mean, inflation might double or triple um, what the Social Security checks actually are. So at that point, the average Social Security check might be $3,000 a month, at which point you'd end up paying back $9,000, just for example. But basically, that's how you break it down. If you're far from retirement, you're going to owe more. But as long as they keep it kept at three payments to be kept from Social Security, you should not get completely screwed over. So these are both proposals, the $5,000 loan proposal and the $1,200 stimulus check proposal. Neither have been passed. Should get more clarity in the next few weeks. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you support the $5,000 stimulus loan? Are you more in favor of just the regular $1,200 stimulus checks, which you don't pay back? Let me know, guys. Thanks, and have a great day.